Estás en sintonía con WCEA TV, tu canal hispano. Bienvenidos a El Planeta Hoy. Estamos desde el hermoso Parque Azul, el parque en East Boston, con una hermosa vista de Boston atrás y tenemos un invitado especial. Se trata de una invitada que está corriendo para el puesto de Tony General. Se trata de Maura Healy. Maura, hey. thank you very much Hello. for your time. Like, thank you for coming here to this beautiful park in this beautiful day to talk about uh, the campaign for Attorney General. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful day to be out. Let's talk about you. Vamos a hablar sobre ella. Uh, how, what would you like to tell our viewers to introduce yourself? ¿Qué le, de, ¿Qué le gustaría decir a nuestros televidentes para presentarse? Well, I'm a resident of Boston. I've lived here for a long time. Um, and I'm a civil rights lawyer. And I worked in the Attorney General's office the last seven years, uh, running half of that office. Um, and I'm running for Attorney General because I want to help people here in the state. Nos cuenta que ella es una abogada de derechos civiles, una residente de Boston por mucho tiempo, ha trabajado en la oficina del fiscal de distrito por los últimos siete años, ha corrido la mitad de las funciones en esa oficina y quiere ayudar a la gente y por eso se quiere lanzar al cargo de fiscal general. Eh, Maura, could you explain to our viewers what is the function of the office for the community? ¿Cuáles son las funciones de esta oficina para nuestra comunidad? I think of the Attorney General's office, Rafael, as the people's law firm. You are the people's lawyer. You are the people's advocate. And for many years, I worked in a private law firm, but I wanted to help people, and I wanted to work in the public interest. And so I took a 70% pay cut years ago to become head of the Civil Rights Division. And some of the things I did there that your Attorney General does, you fight for people. You, when people get assaulted because of their uh, race or because of their ethnicity, I was there to bring civil rights actions against the people who attacked them. When you're a person with a disability and you're looking for housing or uh, re relief or services, I was there to help them. Um, you know, I worked with homeowners and, and, and tenants, people who are looking for apartments but were badly treated by their landlords um, and, and evicted by banks uh, and mortgage companies. I was there to bring lawsuits and to help them, to stop foreclosures and to get relief for tenants and for homeowners. And that's the kind of work that you do in the Attorney General's office, fighting for people, standing up for their rights, protecting consumers, making sure that workers get paid. Nos cuenta que la labor de la oficina del fiscal, de, del fiscal del Estado, el fiscal general del Estado, es justamente velar por los intereses de los individuos, pelear, ser el abogado del pueblo. En el caso de Maura Healy, ella fue abogada privada y luego decidió tomar un, un, un recorte incluso en lo que estaba ganando para trabajar en el área de derechos civiles en la oficina del fiscal general. Por ejemplo, eh, un caso que nos cuenta ella muy típico en el que la oficina del fiscal general del estado de Massachusetts puede y debe actuar es cuando hay problemas entre los arrendatarios y los landlords, cuando hay problemas entre los inquilinos y las personas que están rentando casas. We were just talking about the last you mentioned the the landlord tenants yes. relation. Uh, what are other cases that typically the, sure. the Attorney General's office okay. should and, and do have like uh, power to, to solve and to help? You know, some of the cases I did were cases where landlords kept apartments in terrible conditions and didn't take care of them. And we sued them to make them fix up properties and clean up properties to keep families safe. That's an example. Bueno, nos está hablando de, de los casos en que, por ejemplo, los dueños de casa han mantenido los departamentos en muy mal estado y se ha logrado que se los demande para que respondan por eso y los inquilinos vivan mejor. Also, um, you know, when banks started making bad loans to people, 
uh, I had the team do an analysis and they looked at the loans here in Massachusetts and they saw that Latino borrowers were being charged more unfairly. They were being charged more on their mortgages. I brought a lawsuit to stop that discriminatory lending practice. Wow, and esto... we return money to thousands of Latino borrowers and homeowners here in the state. Esto es una, un dato bastante importante para nuestra comunidad. Nos cuenta Mara Healy que eh, se hizo una investigación y se, llegó, se determinó que a los latinos que estaban eh, obteniendo préstamos se les estaba dando condiciones menos favorables para préstamos. They were, they, they were loans to buy houses, right? That's right. Eh, préstamos para comprar casas. Entonces se eh, inició una demanda contra este sistema de, de prestamistas para que respondan y se le devuelva plata a las personas de la, de la comunidad latina que habían tenido esos préstamos con eh, un, una tasa injusta. And also, uh, I brought actions against real estate act, uh, agents and landlords who didn't want to take Section 8 or who didn't want to rent two families with children. That's discriminatory, it's wrong, and so I'm a civil rights lawyer and I brought cases to, to take them on and to stop those practices and to help those people get into housing. Muy bien, y por último nos cuenta casos en que se ha ayudado también desde la oficina del fiscal general a que se eliminen prácticas discriminatorias como por ejemplo eh, dueños de casa que no han querido aceptar el Section A o que no han querido rentar casas a personas que tienen familias por A, B o C motivos, entonces eso es discriminatorio y eh, como abogada de derechos civiles en el área de los derechos civiles, ella se ha comprometido con esas causas. Of workers, making sure that people, especially people who are getting paid lower wages, oftentimes immigrants, sometimes undocumented immigrants, get paid. And so suing companies and suing employers to get money back to make sure that people get paid for the work that they do. That's the kind of work that I was part of and that I did in the Attorney General's office. Otro de los trabajos que ella hizo dentro de la oficina del fiscal de Massachusetts, el fiscal general de Massachusetts, fue ayudar a que cuando se han cometido injusticias y a los trabajadores que ganan un sueldo eh, bastante bajo, tal vez eh, por debajo del mínimo, un sueldo mínimo, no se les paga, se les pague. Muchas veces nos cuenta que estos trabajadores son inmigrantes y muchas veces son inmigrantes que no tienen los documentos y por alguna razón tienen eh, miedo de, de exigir que le paguen sus derechos y ella pues ha logrado que demandando a estas compañías a estos patronos se les pague lo, lo que se les debe. Maura, is, that's a very important topic. Mm. Ese es un tópico muy importante. Yeah. You, you mentioned uh, a, a topic that probably many people who are watching us on TV is interested in. You know, we work very hard, trabajamos yes. muy duro, and then it is just fair that they pay what they are they are promising mm -hmm. to pay. And probably many people don't know or didn't know until this show that in the office of the Attorney General, the, there is a power in that office to to help the people. Uh, what would you say to, to the people who probably are afraid to, to go mm -hmm. to the office? What would you do if you become Attorney General to, to close that gap and tell the people, uh, come on, we are here to help you. Yeah. What are your plans for it's that? A, it's a great point and it's really important and it will be when I'm Attorney General to have regular communication with members of the community and do outreach and education. I want them to know that they can come forward with their complaints. If they've been badly treated by an employer, if they've had their civil rights violated and they've been discriminated against in housing or on the job, they have a place and somebody who's going to help them. I want to hire more people um, who speak Spanish, for example, and other languages so that there's a good way to communicate. Yo le pregunté cuáles serían su, sus planes para que si ella llega a la oficina del fiscal general de Massachusetts, eh, la comunidad, nosotros nos sintamos con más confianza de, de acercarnos, de, de ir allá a buscar ayuda. Entonces nos dice que planea contratar más gente que habla español, planea eh, educar más a la comunidad, tener más comunicación con nuestra comunidad para que sepan que tiene en la oficina del fiscal general de, Distrito, de, de Massachusetts una... Una, una, una entidad, una oficina, un equipo al cual acudir. Entonces eso es lo que nos estaba contando. Yeah. Uh, that's a very interesting topic and it's you know, very vital for a community to know what's the function and, and what are the capabilities of the office. Right. And you know, there are some really important laws out there. Domestic violence laws, a law to protect domestic workers, whether they're personal care assistants or workers in the home, uh, a human trafficking law, 
that protects against sex trafficking and labor trafficking. And it's really important that people who are victims of domestic violence or human trafficking or who are being taken advantage of by an employer if they're a domestic worker know their rights and can come forward to my office when I'm Attorney General and know that they're going to get help. And, and, and the Attorney General's office will be there to help them. Estamos hablando de que hay personas que sufren violencia doméstica, hay personas que han sido víctimas de tráfico de personas y hay leyes que respaldan, ayudan a estas personas a hacer valer sus derechos y a, y a que se haga justicia en sus casos. Entonces nos dice Maura Healy que la oficina del fiscal de Massachusetts, si ella llega a esta oficina, pues será la labor de, de esta oficina y de ella comprometerse a ayudar a esas personas. Remember the stories, um, and I heard them when I was in the office as civil rights chief, of people who paid somebody money thinking that they were going to be helped with immigration um, and getting uh, a green card, for example, or citizenship. And the person just took off with all their money and never provided them any help. It was terrible. They were taken advantage of. And, you know, I will be an attorney general who will work to close down on those bad practices and help protect people here from those kinds of really predatory, uh, unfair practices. Nos habla que otro de sus puntos principales en su campaña, en su propuesta, es ayudar a las personas que se escuchan día a día, ya lo he escuchado en, en su experiencia como abogada de derechos civiles, personas que son estafadas, timadas por abogados que le dicen vamos a sacarte un green card uh -huh. eh, si me pagas esta cantidad de dinero o si o haces esto o lo otro o con a ayudar a, a, que, a que no se le lleven la casa uh -huh. o a obtener un préstamo uh -huh. y, y son personas que básicamente están estafando a miembros de, de nuestra comunidad, de la comunidad inmigrante y de todas las comunidades en general, pasan todas las comunidades uh -huh. y nos dice que parte de su plan es eh, comprometerse a que la gente que ha tenido estos problemas pues acuda donde ella y acuda a la oficina del fiscal de Massachusetts. Nos vamos a un corte comercial. We're making a pause here for a message from our sponsors and we're coming back with more. Vamos a regresar con más en El Planeta hoy y vamos a hablar de otros planes de la campaña de Maura Healy. Ella está corriendo para Attorney General de Massachusetts. Maura, we're coming back. This is El Planeta hoy.